What's up? What's happening? What's going on? What it is? Gravity defiers. What are y'all doing? Oh, wait. Let me close the garage door here. There we go. What's up, gravity defiers? What's happening? I am actually going to do a mobile scooter job today. It's a long drive. I got to drive all the way out to Clearwater. And then on my way back, I got to stop and pick up some new gear. I found a really good deal on some drone gear, some FPV drone gear, of course, and a um, few opportunities for me to upgrade some of my stuff and then be able to sell some of my stuff to other friends for a good price. Oh boy, I'm doing an on-the-fly valve job and a whole bunch of other stuff out here today. Then after this, I gotta go look up that gear. I got his valve cover pulled right now. Gonna go ahead and do a valve job on the spot because this thing does not want to run for whatever reason. I sent him down to get a new spark plug. I gotta pull all that shit off there now so I can line the engine up to TDC so I can do all this and slap the head back on. Make that money, boy. Okay. Anyways. So, his intake valve seems to be alright. There's a little bit too much drag on there, but not, not really enough that it would affect the scooter. However, his exhaust valve is way too tight even though I can tap it up and down right even though I can make it move it's definitely too tight so I can't actually slide my 0.5 in there my 0, zero 5 will not go so we're gonna go ahead and crack that loose and uh, that's maybe a good good indicator as to why she won't start so Let's reset that valve and see what happens. Okay, this guy's done. Pia, give her a little bit of fuel. He needs to run and charge for a minute. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> charge up for a bit because that battery definitely needs to charge. Alright guys, I just finished with Matt. Matt, does it run? Runs good. Runs yeah. good? Didn't before, but... Oil change, what else did we do? Uh, oil change, valve adjustment, um... You have checked your fuel lines. Your, fuel lines, yep. uh, new Bendix. New spark plug. Needs a Bendix also. Yep, need a new Bendix clutch. And uh, it's back to running where I yeah. needed to run. And then we inspected the, the cylinder. We went in there with my uh, endoscope and inspected the cylinder. It's got some carbon buildup, nothing horrible. The sleeve still looks like it's good and it cranks up and runs, yeah. He's moving. <laughs> Follow him to the store here, real quick. He cruises this thing back and forth to work every day. Oh, so, but didn't start today. Dan got a call. We did a bunch of work to it, so I'm gonna go finish up with him. He's got a 100cc big bore kit on a 50cc, so it cruises pretty good. It's nice and loud. However, it needs some tuning. I told him it's hard to start every time. I ended up having to put a Bendix clutch in it and a whole bunch of other stuff from trying to start it so often. So we'll see here. We go into this. He's going all the way through. <laughs> got to run to the gas station real quick. He's got to give me some money. Money. And then I got to go meet up with the drone stuff. Ooh, come on, autofocus. There we go. Gas station. Who I ran into, Mikey, Mikey Mike channel. It's been like what two years, two and a half years yeah. since I've seen this guy. We did a video shoot with the 3DR solo at one point, doing uh, what long shots with the lighting. Is yeah. that what it was? Ari Olds Park. What's that? Ari Olds Park. Yeah, Ari's old park. That's right. It's been since I lived with Marie over there. It's been a while. That's well, good to see him, man. He's still out here doing his photography thing, so if you guys haven't subscribed to the Mikey Mike channel, you should definitely do that. I'm sure when I post this, he'll comment on it so you guys can find his channel. That way it'll be a lot easier instead of just looking at Mikey Mike and a thousand other channels named Mikey Mike, right? Right. Right. It's just Mikey Mike, right? The Mikey Mike channel. The Mikey Mike channel. He actually put channel. The Mikey Mike channel. That's interesting. It's a good algorithm. Yeah. Ah. Fly me to the moon Let 
me play among the stars Let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars Alright, so we did end up coming through. I did buy the stuff. Now, just a heads up, I got all this for $200, okay? So, as you guys know, my normal pair of goggles is the Dominator V3s with the Esheen uh, 58 Pro uh, with Achilles firmware. That's normally what I run for my module. And... They sold me some Fat Shark. HDOs like brand spanking new HDOs. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there you go. HDOs with rapid fire and all the good stuff. So that's tits. Um, I do have some antennas in here. Obviously, this the audio cord in case your quad had audio. These are still a very expensive pair of goggles, to, to say the least. They're still a very expensive pair of goggles. Now they have the HDO twos out, and I think they're about to release or they already have released the hdo 3s but still this is a serious upgrade for my dominator v3s um i did end up with an old transmitter which i'm not gonna do anything with i'll probably just end up selling this um because i run fr sky so this transmitter is basically useless to me so um i did end up with a tbs source one i believe uh build complete build and 4s ripper for the 200 bucks i'm gonna have to go through and see what he did and check the tune on everything but it's actually a fairly fairly decent build um looks like he did a good job the camera mount's kind of a goofy setup there going on but that can be adjusted he did a great job with the build looks like it has a maybe swift a run cam swift on it something like that i ended up with seven seven batteries uh some extra props and a B3 charger. I mean, it's a whole setup ready to go. 
ready to fly system with a quad and brand new goggles for 200 bucks. So pay attention to marketplace. Sometimes you get some really good deals. So I'm gonna take a couple days. We're gonna set up the new quad. We're gonna see how this thing functions. And my other uh, TBS Source One frame did come in. So I'm gonna transfer all my stuff from my Marmot over to my new TBS Source One frame. Hopefully eliminate the vibrations, but it looks like I got a new ripper for a very decent price. So. But I need to go through and make sure all this is set up correctly. It, it looks it looks decent, but like I said, I need to go through and make sure this is all set up and working correctly. <laughs> this is something I've wanted to see on my goggles for a long time. I just haven't wanted to fork out the money for them. The module alone on this thing is like $175, but wait for it. <laughs> yeah, rapid fire. That is something I have not had and I haven't wanted to make the investment in. And I can tell you right now, I love the viewing angles of these, but that rapid fire module. So I got HDLs with rapid fire. Yeah, yeah. Just the goggles alone are like 550, 600 bucks all together. So crazy, crazy. So it looks like we'll be giving up my Fat Shark Dominator V3s. Fat Shark really doesn't change too much, do they? So we'll be giving up the Dominator V3s for the HDOs. That's definitely going to happen. I've been needing a serious upgrade on my goggles. Even though the Achilles module is great, this will definitely give me a lot more serious range and power punch through the trees and stuff. I just haven't wanted to make the $175 investment on rapid fire module so or a goggle upgrade. So these were me hops, just me hops, old uh, uh, Dominator V3s I bought from him and then I put my own module on it but this is kind of what I've really been wanting to go towards was this setup so that happened captain